What's up guys, Jared back. So I've spent some time with my new Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs, and I guess it's time for the review. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Alrighty, so here they are, the Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs. Now, for those of you that are wondering if you are unfamiliar with the M50 series, um, the difference between the, the M50Xs and the M50s, the previous model, is basically this, a detachable cable port. Uh, whereas before, the cable was just straight up in there. It was an inline cable, uh, I suppose you could say. Um, is it a good thing? Well, kind of. A lot of people bought these because it does have the ability to have a detachable cable. If I've, and I've already been asked this in my unboxing video, is it worth upgrading uh, from the M50s to the X's um, because of this? Honestly, as far as the dollar values go, um, you know, I wouldn't waste my money on getting these just because, unless you absolutely have to have a detachable cable or the option to have a detachable cable, don't bother spending your money on these because as far as the drivers and all the frequencies and everything is concerned, um, from what I understand, they're exactly the same as the original M50, so keep that in mind. Um, now, as far as comfortability, and of course, I'm gonna be getting to sound quality and all that stuff in a bit, which I'm sure you guys can already guess is going to is going to be a positive uh, review from me, but anyways. Um, so anyways, as far as it being comfortable goes, you know, the, the uh, over-the-ear cups here, uh, really, really, really comfortable, really soft sort of leather. In fact, I don't know if they're actually real leather. I've smelled them, even though I'm, I guess I'm kind of smelling the inside of my ears now and they don't smell like real leather, so I'm going to assume it's just a really high grade, soft, fake leather. Uh, and the same thing goes on the top for the headband as well. But it's really, really comfortable. Now that said, I was a little bit concerned when I grabbed these that, oh boy, are my ears gonna start sweating or that is it gonna start uh, uh, perspiring under the headphones after long periods of use? Because some people, you know, especially the, some of the sound engineers, the sound, uh, sound professionals out there, will be having these on for eight plus hours a day. And um, I gotta tell you guys that, you know, after watching two, two movies and like three TV episodes back to back, not once did I have a complaint about my ears overheating. Now, that said, I gave them to my wife for about an hour to use while she was studying and she did happen to mention that after about an hour's worth of usage, um, her right ear did start to ache a little bit. I haven't had that issue myself, especially after the whatever three hours that I sat, um, you know, watching marathon movies and so on, um, but that is something to take into consideration. Now as far as the headband is concerned, it's actually really quite flexible. You know, I've used, and, and I hate to compare these to gaming headsets because it's like, it's almost like night and day even though they're both, they both have audio coming through a headphone setup it is like night and day um, you know some of my gaming headsets in the past the problem that I had was um, that the actual headband itself was a little bit too uh, stiff and as a result depending on the size of your head and I do actually the top of my dome although my face looks a lot more slender the top of my head is a lot larger um, and so that was an issue I always had because the actual headphones band wouldn't flex enough and it would start, per start putting pressure on my head in fact to the point where it would actually start leaving dips on the side of my skin skull so like I guess it would kind of push into my skin on my skull a bit and that's just not a good feeling and it did end up giving me a headache and as a result of it being too stiff it was pushing the ear cups onto my ears too much causing pain these because they're so flexible and light feeling um, I never had an issue with an achy head or achy ears at all um, and in addition to that they're actually really quite lightweight which is another topic I wanted to touch base on so it's kind of a trade-off you get this lightweight plastic which you know keeps the weight down on your head and all that good stuff but it's also kind of cheap feeling plastic at that right so I'm not really a huge fan of that if for God forbid I was to drop these on the floor or on hard pavement, these will scratch up all the hell and I wouldn't be surprised if one of the ear cups actually cracked. That said, $160, $170 headphones, you probably won't see me going out too often except for dog walks with my dog and stuff like that. But I mean, if I was to go traveling, I probably wouldn't bring these with me. I'd probably bring like a cheaper $80 pair of headphones or something like that. Um, now, as far as attention to detail is concerned, I really, really like they've got the left and right um, symbols on there. Not only on the back side, I guess you could call this the back side, but also the front side as well. Um, you know, I've gotten in a fair amount of headphones to review in the past and every single time I go to put them on, I always actually have to look okay where's the okay left all right all right you know what I mean these you just you can spot which side they're supposed to be on from the bloody table before you even grab them to put them on which I really really like so an, a small attention to detail there might not be a big deal for you guys it's a huge deal to me all these little sort of things add up in the end right 
Uh, another cool attention to detail that I wanted to point out was um, as you start pulling this out and by the way this is aluminum not all the way through but on the top here and I'm, I'd like to imagine that it is aluminum all the way throughout the band kind of giving it that more structural that much more of structural integrity um, obviously to keep the resilience of the um, flexibility and so on um, but I like how they have the little lines here and that's I mean a lot of like um, headband style headphones have those little lines but none of the, not a lot of them or not all of them I should say do this where you can actually hear the clicking noise, right? And I really like that, which means that when you actually have them on your head, all you have to do is feel for the feedback of the clicking um, in order to adjust it to the size that you want, which I think is awesome. Um, so what else can I tell you about these? Um, oh, I guess we should get into the sound now. The sound on these are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, in my previous headphones video that I did on a different product uh, a while ago, so, you know, I had mentioned that I had tested them out a lot of my rap music, things like that, which I listen to a lot of hip hop and rap. Um, and somebody pointed out that, you know what, man, if you're going to be doing a headphones review, you should really start listening to lots of different genres of music so you can get an idea of what those different types of music actually sound like with different instruments and different pitches and things like that. Totally good point and it totally makes sense and I completely agree. So I did. So I listened to a couple of country songs, believe it or not, even though I don't like country, I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, um, obviously lots of rock, ACDC, Kiss, all the usuals, right? Um, obviously a lot of my rap and hip hop and so on, some electronic music and whatnot, um, as well as, like I mentioned before, movies and TV shows. I have no complaints whatsoever. These things handle all the genres as well as movies and TV shows absolutely perfect. Every single um, pitch and tone and genre sounded amazing. Bumping these up all the way to max, no distortion, again, depending on the quality, like the, the um, kilobyte, the bitrate quality of the uh, audio file that I was playing, um, no distortion whatsoever. It just handled everything like a champ. I've never uh, heard anything sound honestly so good um, out of a pair of headphones before, um, but that's also because I've never owned a pair of headphones that cost this much before either, um, though close. So anyways, so audio on these, no complaints. They sound absolutely phenomenal. Uh, now you'll also notice as I'm doing this that they are fully rotatable uh, ear cups. They can go all the way around and this and that. You know, you can have them around your neck and have them there for comfortability or have them on your neck to hold them into place or have them like this so you can have some speakers uh, up at you. Um, that's fantastic, but it, it's sort of like a double-edged sword because at the same time, it kind of gets annoying, so like when if you put these down or you don't remember to fold them up, which by the way, if I haven't pointed out yet, you can actually fold these up like so, boop, boop, like that, sort of like a transformer. And then obviously it comes with a case, that little carrying pouch that I showed you guys in um, the unboxing video uh, for easy storage and to keep it clean and so on. But it does keep it nice and compact, so I do like that. However, because of this, they flop around too damn much for me and it drives me friggin' nuts. Um, is that, you know, reason to not get these? No, certainly not. See, I was even having difficulty there for a second figuring out why the hell this wasn't turning around. It's because this flips all the way under like that. Um, so. That was a bit of a pet peeve of mine, but definitely no reason not to buy these, not by a long shot. Now, here comes the part that I really, really don't like about these headphones. The whole point of these M50Xs, the X, is that it's got the ability for a detachable cable, and that's fantastic. However, they've sort of made it somewhat proprietary to these headphones themselves, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me grab... Um, let me find the short straight one. Where the hell is it? It's called the portable straight. That's what the cables are called. Anyways, um, so what you'll see is, so this is the side that plugs in. This is the 3.5 millimeter size, okay? So that is what plugs into your head, or your, your cell phone or your computer, or whatever it might be. And this is 2.5 millimeters that plugs into the actual headphones themselves. So as you can see here, we've got the little lines there. So you kind of just put it on a, on a tilt a little bit sticking in and as you start to sort of wiggle into place it locks like that there you go and now it's locked into place and these won't come out awesome that's great but again you guys may have noticed well all aside from that being a bit of a pain in the butt to get out that well what the hell are you going to do with a 2.5 millimeter cable or a plug so let me get that into the shot say for instance and you get three cables and i'll show you those in just a moment but say for instance this gets damaged or the wire gets damaged or something like that. Um, not only is the actual cable housing itself 
extended to be able to fit inside this. And let me just bring into this camera here. So you can see how long it is, right? And if I actually bring it into the camera, and I'm hoping that the light might hit it right, it might not. Um, but the actual jack itself, the hole, is actually right about here. That's why this has to be that much longer to actually get in there, as you can see, right? So if you happen to damage this cable or all three cables that, came, that it comes with, you're kind of up shit creek without a paddle because not only are you going to have to find a 2.5 millimeter stereo to 3.5 millimeter stereo, you're going to have to find one that's either really, really slim and fits all the way down inside there, which might mean some extra shopping around, um, but you're going to have to find one that's long and long gated like that right there. And I'm just not a huge fan of that, which actually makes it kind of proprietary because then you, you sort of lose the whole locking ability because if you purchase, if you do happen to find one at say, for instance, Radio Shack or Best Buy or something like that, it's not gonna have that little locking mechanism, which means you're gonna have to contact Audio Technica or a third party vendor that has these and order separate cables, specifically these. You can't just run down to the drugstore, pick something up for five bucks, right? I don't like that. So anyways, but again, is that a reason for me not to buy these? Hell no, I bought these anyways. Um, and, and again, you know, I'm not gonna be taking these around the bloody world with me. I'm not gonna be going camping or, you know, doing strenuous activities that could potentially damage not only the headphones, but the cable as well. So chances of me actually damaging the cable are not there, you know, in, in a perfect world, but shit happens and that could happen. Now, these partic this particular cable here, the one of three that it comes with, um, is the one meter or it's 1.2 meter straight cable. It's called their portable cable, okay? The other cable it comes with, or one of the other cables it comes with, is the, and I think this is the actually the 1.2 meter in its collapsed form, but as you can see, it's got this coil on it that, that does extend out to three meters. Um, and this is actually my favorite for while I'm sitting at my desk, because if I'm listening, watching movies, listening to music, editing, and so on, um, the coil actually keeps this, like the cable clutter down to a minimum, but if I ha do happen to recline in my chair or move around or whatever, then the coil actually accommodates to that extra movement to my needs, right? So I really like these for sitting around stationary at my desk. Uh, and then if you wanted, you do have the option. This is a full on three meter straight cable, no coil as you can see, but it is straight up three meters. Now this is another thing I wanted to talk about. The um, inside the box, it actually also includes this adapter here. Now this adapter just simply screws onto the 3.5 mil edge or side of the um, headphones. If it's, is it eventually gonna go on there? There, I don't, wait, I don't know what the hell. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Just had to press a little, just had to press harder. <laughs> um, and then that goes on like that. And of course, then you can just plug it into whatever the preamp that you're using and so on. Um, and that's cool, but it doesn't come on the, um, the portable cable. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. So plus, well, I, I was going to say, plus, you know, if you end up ruining your cable, then you don't have this little screw, which means you can't fit the adapter on. But if you end up do happen to find a third party cable that will fit the 2.5 inside there, um, you can just go get yourself an adapter that doesn't have the threads on it. So anyways, um, but anyways, guys, I guess to kind of sum it up, uh, they're really, really comfortable headphones. Um, the, a lot of great attention to detail. The plastic on it, is, in my opinion, is a little bit cheap um, for the price. However, um, where the money is really spent, I think, is the actual drive inside super comfortable to wear they sound absolutely phenomenal it comes with a bunch of quality cables although slightly proprietary though the whole detachable cable idea is sort of really really attractive to me um, and the fact that it's collapsible and for under two hundred dollars for about 160 170 dollars you cannot go wrong buying these I repeat you cannot you will not you will not regret buying these if you do um, is it worth spending the extra money to go from the uh, M50s to the M50Xs. If you absolutely must have, must have a detachable cable, then go for it. I'm not going to stop you. However, if the detachable cable I option to you isn't a must have, don't waste your money. These are exactly the same as the previous versions. Anyways, guys, I'm satisfied with, uh, with them. I definitely recommend to anybody looking for a pair of headphones. If you're in the market for something silly like Beats by Dre or the headphones from 50 Cent, don't waste your money. Get something like this. Anyways, guys, that is it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. If you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But anyways, like I said before, that's it. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. This video is sponsored by unlockthatphone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit unlockthatphone.com for more information.